real crust. Mm. Hi, and welcome to Lunch with Lisa. And today, we're gonna make a macro-friendly version of chicken pot pie. It's Lunch with Lisa. I don't know about you, but I love chicken pot pie. It's something I used to crave as a child. We used to buy them at the store. They were this convenient calorie packed meal that you could buy in the frozen section and then stick it in the oven or the microwave and have a nice hot chicken pot pie in minutes. But oh my goodness, are they not good for your waistline when you're an adult. <laughs> I don't even know how many calories they are, but I mean, just one chicken pot pie could be close to all your calories for the day, right? <laughs> or at least half. If you're small like me, I'm only five foot three, <laughs> five foot two and a half. Recently, I started making them for my son and they turned out so much better than the store-bought ones, but I wanna eat one for myself and I don't want it to cost me all my calories for the day. I worked out a way to make this a little bit more macro friendly, but still be the same delicious chicken pot pie that I know and love. So I'm using an amazing recipe that I'll put down below and I'm helping it fit into my macros a little bit better by upping the protein, lowering the fat and lowering the carbs just a little bit. And in doing that, it's taken the calories down quite a bit. So I can have this as a meal for around 450 calories or so. So let's get to making some chicken pot pie. We're gonna be making our crust from scratch. Go ahead and feel free to buy a crust at the store if that's what you wanna do. Just know that it's gonna have probably hydrogenated oil and some other things that you probably don't want in it. But let me just tell you that this is the best pie crust recipe. My sister and I used to make this when we were young at home and we would just eat the pie crust raw because it was so delicious. But it really makes a nice flaky pie crust. For the pie crust, you're going to need three cups of all-purpose flour, one whole cup of butter, one teaspoon of salt, one egg, one teaspoon of vinegar, can be white vinegar or apple cider vinegar, and a little bit of water. To make your pie crust, we're going to mix three cups of flour with one cup of butter and one teaspoon of salt. You wanna cut it in using this tool or you can do it with your hands or you could pulse it in your food processor and work at it until it resembles kind of the texture of sand. Next, get a measuring cup and place one egg with one teaspoon of vinegar. Then add water to make one whole cup. Mix it together. Make sure you've beaten the egg inside this mixture and then add it to your flour mixture. Then you're just going to mix this all together until it comes together as a dough. And you're gonna wrap it in cellophane and place it in the fridge until we make our chicken pot pie mixture. For our chicken pot pie mixture, you're gonna need 16 ounces of cooked chicken breast, chopped or shredded, one cup of chopped carrots, one cup frozen green peas, have a cup of chopped celery, one tablespoon of butter, one third a cup chopped onion, one tablespoon of flour, quarter a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of salt, quarter a teaspoon of garlic powder, and about one to two cups of chicken broth, or you can use any kind of broth or water, and about three quarters a cup of milk. You can use almond milk or regular milk. We're gonna make individual sized chicken pot pies today, but you could make this all in one big pie. If you're going to make your pie today, preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. If we're going to combine our carrots, our peas and celery in a saucepan with your chicken broth, bring that to a boil and boil it for about 10 minutes. You're gonna drain and reserve the broth. Next, you're gonna take your chopped chicken and stir it into the vegetable mix. Then you're going to cook your onions with your melted butter in the saucepan over medium heat until they're soft. Stir the flour in slowly, and then add the pepper, salt, and garlic powder. Then you're going to slowly stir in your chicken broth and milk, and then simmer over medium low heat until thick. Then remove from the heat. Now don't let this get too thick or it won't settle at the bottom of your pie. Next, you're going to get out your little pie tins. I like these small reusable ones that I found on Amazon. I'll leave the link down below for you to buy some. Then you're gonna spread your chicken mixture evenly at the bottom of your little tins. Then you're gonna pour your hot broth mixture over the chicken. Then we're gonna roll out our pie crust. Okay, we're going to weigh our pie crust out because I wanna make sure I'm getting the right amount. So for this recipe of pie crust, I worked it out to be 24 servings. So whatever the pie crust weighs, we're gonna divide that by 24. We're gonna take that amount and put that on top of each of our little pies because that comes out to be 128 calories per serving. So in total, each chicken pot pie should be 483 calories. And you can easily program that into your macro day at 38 grams of carbs, 21 grams of fat, and 30 grams of protein per pot pie. How amazing is that? 
and I'm going to use one of these tins to measure how big I need to make my pie crust and make it just a little bit bigger. And then we're gonna fold the edge of the pie crust over the rim so it stays on. And then I'm gonna cut a couple slits in the top. Next, we're gonna put these on a cookie sheet. We're gonna bake them in our preheated 425 degree oven for 30 to 35 minutes or until the top is golden and the pie is bubbling up through. We're gonna cool these for 10 minutes before serving. What I like to do is instead of baking them all at once, I bake them one at a time. I put the rest in the freezer until they're frozen and then I place them in a plastic bag so that I can save them for later. Or you could just put foil on top of these tins. All right, I ended up baking these for about 40 to 45 minutes just to make sure the crust was nice and brown. And I baked them in my air fryer on air fry. Your oven may be a little different, so your timing might be just a tad bit different depending on if you cook the whole thing all together or make individual little pies. I also use this pie crust cover, goes right on top like that, so that the edges of the pie crust don't burn. And I leave that on until the last 10 minutes and I take it off. But it looks and smells so delicious. I am so excited to dig in. It smells exactly like my chicken pot pie that I make all the time. All right, that first little dig inside the crust. The crust is so flaky. Mm. Oh yeah, you guys, this is what I'm talking about. This is delicious. Mm. So I don't feel like I'm compromising on flavor or anything with this. I know I'm eating a little less crust because I know I have goals to lose weight or not to gain weight or to maintain my weight. And this easily fits into my day. I was a small person who doesn't get a whole lot of calories per day. This is perfect. I don't feel guilty eating this at all. If you like what you see and you wanna help support me, there's three ways you can do it. You can shop down in my Amazon store, buy anything on Amazon in the next 24 hours and I could receive a small commission. Or you could buy me a coffee at coffee.com slash lunchwithlisa. Or you could become a patron like all these lovely people. Thank you. Patreon.com slash lunchwithlisa. And it's always free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Go watch it. It's Lunch with Lisa. My friend Kristen nudged me to make a healthier chicken pot pie and all the other options I saw and I've eaten out there are no good. I want that real crust. I want to taste it. So I don't want to deprive myself and have cauliflower. No, real crust. Mm. Mm.